Maranatha, my PBC family and friends, Pastor Brian here with another Quick Bite, Living the Word. Today, we're going to come from Ephesians chapter 2, and I want to pick it up at verse 19. And uh, we'll just be reading, kind of bouncing around a little bit here in Ephesians chapter 2 a little bit here, though. Uh, as I was thinking about something this morning, actually, I just have been thinking about this actually for the last several weeks. We actually talked about this at a pastor's uh, meeting I was at, uh, a pastor's fellowship I was at several weeks ago. And, and I just, I can't get this thought on my head. I keep thinking about this, especially within the times and the seasons in which we see coming upon us and in which we live. Uh, just how, uh, in particular, I know uh, maybe more globally, you guys understand these things than we do necessarily here in the United States. But uh, that being said, I just want to read to you verse 19, and then I want to kind of talk about this a little bit here. It says, Now therefore ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and the household of God. Now it goes on. It says, and "Are you built upon the found and, and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and the prophets? Jesus Christ Himself being the chief cornerstone, and whom all the building is fitly joined together, groweth together in the holy temple of the Lord." Now, what is interesting about this is what it literally says to us here. It says, "Now therefore, you are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints of God and the household of God." But where are we citizens of? Where is the household of God? Where are we, what are we built upon? See, the point of the matter is, we know other places tell us that our citizenship is not here, that we're ambassadors for Christ here, meaning we live in a foreign land. We're strangers and aliens here. But what is interesting to me, though, is I love every time the Bible says, now, therefore, that means he's saying the thoughts that came before this led him to this thought, because now, therefore, you are no more strangers, but now you're federal citizens and with the saints of God. And our citizenship is not here. Now, therefore, what? Why? In other words, right? Well, just look back, if you would, here. Um, let's pick up verse four, at verse four, look at verse 14, and we'll read down. For he is our peace, who hath made both one, and hath broken down the middle wall of partition between us, having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of the commandments containing ordinances, for to, him, for to make himself of twain one new man, so make peace. And that he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross, having slain the enmity thereby. And came and preached peace to you, which were afar off, and to them that were nigh. For through him we have both the access by one spirit unto the Father. Now, therefore, you are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints. See, here's the point. is If you don't have Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior, you are a stranger and a foreigner to him. You don't belong to the citizenship of the saints in heaven. You belong to the citizenships of the world. But if you are his, you no longer have your citizenship here. You no longer belong to the citizenship of your country. Now, I'm not saying we aren't actual citizens in the flesh, guys. So don't go and start writing to me, oh, what are you saying, I can't vote? No, I'm not saying those things. What I'm telling you is that we're not trying to represent as much the United States of America or, you know, Europe or, or Spain or anybody, you know, whatever the case, whatever country we're in. We're not trying to represent those as much as we're trying to represent what? heaven. The Lord Jesus Christ. That's our goal. And so that's why we're fellow saints and strangers and foreigners here, uh, here and, but we're no longer strangers and foreigners there. And that's such an amazing thing, such an amazing promise. So I hope today you keep that in mind. As you sit there and worry about how the world might be going, remember, this is not our home. This is not our world. This is not our country. This is not where we belong. We are just sojourners here. As the Bible says, we're just passing through and we're ambassadors while we're here, representatives for Jesus Christ. So may this encourage you today to contain yourself and your thoughts about who you belong to and where you belong. I love you. We love you. God loves you. And God's got this.